Jharkhand CM Hemant Soren Saman by the ED has to appear before the ED sleuths tomorrow. So this is the latest that we have. Jharkhand CM Hemant Soren has been summoned by the ED. This is in connection to the illegal mining case and investigation has been going on for some time and now the ED has summoned the Chief Minister and he has been asked to appear before the Central Probe Agency tomorrow. Uh, there have been ongoing raids in this case and uh, his aides have also been arrested uh, recently. Uh, about 18 locations were raided in Jharkhand linked to Pankaj Mishra and his business associates. Now Pankaj Mishra is a very close aide of uh, Heyman Sorain and the ED has already arrested um, Sorain's aide Pankaj Mishra in the case. Now the fact is uh, Heyman Sorain has been summoned tomorrow. What the day holds, what the questioning is going to be that is something that we will be bringing you the latest on in um, just a few minutes we're waiting for my colleague uh, to join us with all the latest details the raids we're joined by Ashish Mehrishi who tracks the ED very closely very good morning to you Ashish do bring us up to speed on these summons what can we expect tomorrow and what is the questioning going to be like for him and Saren? So, you know, if you remember, there have been recent searches by the Enforcement Directorate in, in Jharkhand and it was found that, uh, you know, the illegal mining in Sahib Ganjeri and various other, you know, areas of Jharkhand, it was absolutely rampant. Now, when the investigation happened, it was found that people, especially close to the Chief Minister, especially people like Prem Prakash, who is the MLA representative, and, uh, you know, there are various other individuals who have been arrested recently, they were all found to be very closely working in in tandem with each other and most of them had found contacts uh, or you can say they had found you know uh, some sort of lineage or some sort of uh, you know they were in fact close aides of the chief minister now once this everything happened uh, during searches it was found there are certain signed checks there were certain uh, you know unsigned checks there were certain passbooks which were directly into the name of the chief minister which was found from from uh, Pankaj Mishra, who, so if you remember, Pankaj Mishra is the the MLA representative of uh, uh, of uh, the Jharkhand Chief Minister, and uh, from his premises, there were certain checks which were found directly in the name of the checkbook was directly in the name You're of the Chief Minister. In, Soren if we could just himself. bring our, our viewers up to date on that, in fact, I believe that's the next piece of breaking news coming in. Now, according to ED sources, many banking documents have been found in the name of Chief Minister Heyman Sorain and they've been recovered from the residence of the arrested accused Pankaj Mishra. Now Pankaj Mishra is currently in ED's custody as we told you he is an aide of Heyman Sorain and after raids he was arrested and from his residence the checkbook, passbook etc that belonged to Heyman Sorain have been recovered. Uh, they will be questioned in the name of the Chief Minister. He will be interrogated in cases related to the accused. Going across to my colleague Shankar Anand who brings us this piece of breaking information. Very good morning uh, to you Shankar. Or kya saamne aa raha hai aur kya ye jo possible evidence jo police ne jo ED ne recover ki hai iske can you take us through it uh, apart from the checkbooks डॉक्यूमेंट है वो बरामद किया गया और खास तौर पर जो पंकज मिश्रा है पंकज मिश्रा के आवास से कई ऐसे चेकबुक्स और जो बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन से जुड़े हुए जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैं वो बकायदा बरामद किया गया था जो मुख्यमंत्री हेमंत सोरेन के नाम से थे तो क्या उसका पंकज मिश्रा के आवास पे होने का क्या मतलब है और मुख्यमंत्री का अगर चेकबुक है अगर मुख्यमंत्री का अगर पासबुक है और बैंकिंग से जुड़े हुए तमाम डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैं तो पंकज मिश्रा क्या घर पे क्या आ, क्या कर रहे हैं और कई ऐसे भी आ, जो साहेबगंज से जुड़े हुए जो बैंकिंग आ, जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स थे वो भी बकायदा पंकज मिश्रा के आवास से बरामद किया गया था तो उन तमाम मामलों की पड़ताल करने के बाद और इस मामले में पंकज मिश्रा का जो स्टेटमेंट दर्ज हुआ था उसी स्टेटमेंट के आधार पर आगे की तफ्तीश करने के लिए मुख्यमंत्री हेमंत सोरेन को पूछताछ के लिए बुलाया गया है 
कल ग्यारह बजे पूछताछ के लिए बुलाया गया और जब पूछताछ करने के लिए वहां पर जो सिक्योरिटी अरेंजमेंट होंगे तो वो किस तरह का अरेंजमेंट होगा इस मामले की जानकारी के लिए और इस मामले को सूचित करने के लिए केंद्रीय जांच एजेंसी ईडी के द्वारा इस मामले की जानकारी स्थानीय पुलिस प्रशासन को भी दी गई है और कहा गया है कि वहां पर उचित सुरक्षा व्यवस्था की भी व्यवस्था कराया जाए तो एक तरह से कहा जा सकता है कि मुख्यमंत्री कल वहां पर आएंगे या नहीं आएंगे तो देखने वाली बात होगी लेकिन आ, कहा जा सकता है कि झारखंड की राजनीति में इस मसले को लेकर अब काफी राजनीति अब शुरू हो गई है और इस मामले को लेकर चर्चाएं शुरू हो गई क्योंकि अब मुख्यमंत्री से आ, इस मामले में पूछताछ होगी और खास तौर पर कई आरोपियों की बात करें चाहे पंकज मिश्रा की बात करें या बाहुबली दाहू यादव की बात करें या रवि केजरीवाल की बात करें तो ये सब बेहद करीबी जो है आपस में इन लोगों का आपस में गठबंधन रहा है लेकिन जिस तरह से इन आरोपियों की गिरफ्तारी हुई इन लोग चाहे पंकज मिश्रा की गिरफ्तारी या दाहू यादव की गिरफ्तारी हुई या इस मामले में कई जो सरकारी मुलाजिम हैं उन लोग के बीच में जिस तरह से उन लोग का स्टेटमेंट दर्ज हुआ उन्हीं तमाम सबूतों और गवाहों के आधार पर मुख्यमंत्री हेमंत सोरेन को पूछताछ के लिए समन भेजा गया है और पूछताछ के लिए बुलाया गया है कल 11 बजे पूछताछ के लिए रांची स्थित जो जोनल ऑफिस है वहां पर मुख्यमंत्री को बुलाया गया है और इस मामले पर आगे की पूछताछ होगी और कहा जा सकता है कि तकरीबन 22 से ज्यादा जो ऐसे जो चेकबुक जो है बकायदा वो वहां से बरामद हुआ था पंकज मिश्रा के आवाज से और पंकज मिश्रा की जब गवाही गवाही हुई थी तो उसको भी यहाँ पर दर्ज किया गया तो देखिए ये जो पूछताछ के लिए जो समन भेजा गया है वो ईडी ईडी पंकज मिश्रा के स्टेटमेंट के आधार पर ही उसे भेजा गया है तो एक तरह से कहा जा सकता है कि पंकज मिश्रा जो अपने आप को बेहद करीबी बताता था मुख्यमंत्री का और साथ साथ कई जो ब्यूरोक्रेट्स के साथ में उसके जो संबंध रहे तो तमाम मामलों की गंभीरता को देखते हुए ही यह संबंध भेजा गया शंक, और शंकर जी स्टे विदास स्टे विद अस वी लेट्स आल्सो गो अक्रॉस टू माय कॉलीग आशीष महेशी टू गेट अस मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट पंकज मिश्रा नाउ आशीष द अरेस्ट ऑफ पंकज मिश्रा सीम्स टू हैव पॉइंटेड टू मेनी लीड्स एंड अनकवरिंग मेनी सच लीड्स फॉर द ईडी कैन यू टेक अस थ्रू हु एग्जैक्टली पंकज मिश्रा इज बिकॉज़ एज शंकर इज टेलिंग अस ही इज समबडी हु इज अ वेरी क्लोज एड ऑफ हेमंत सोरेन Pankaj Mishra is basically the MLA representative. So MLA representative, in all likelihood, is sup- supposed to be a person who is supposed to be very close. Now, interestingly, when the searches happen, people very close to the the chief minister himself, including if you if I correctly remember, there was a person called Suman Kumar who is supposed to be a chartered accountant working on behalf of the close aides of uh, the chief minister. Around 17 crore rupees in cash was found. There has been uh, illegitimate money found in the bank account. Of people people like like Prem Prakash and in people like, uh, uh, Pankaj Mishra and, and others as well. In fact, uh, if you, uh, you know if you remember uh, during the searches in one of the houses, uh, uh, AK-47 rifles were found, uh, live cartridges were found. Uh, they found uh, stone crushers which were illegally working in various mining uh, mining areas, especially related to Sahib Ganj area. So you know, lots and lots of things have been found during searches. In fact, one of the ships were also confiscated by the the enforcement directorate where uh, you know the ship was supposed to uh, uh, carry uh, illegal mining material to various destinations outside uh, outside the country so you know the the the, the area of investigation of Jhar- uh, of uh, enforcement directorate in jharkhand it has expanded in a few uh, you know if you remember in last few months or so and uh, most of the investigations were leading basically to people who were supposed to be very closely working uh, or who were very closely associated with the chief minister himself but most important uh, is that there has been banking documents which were found in the possession of pankaj mishra in the premises of pankaj mishra the big question is what were the banking documents doing in his possession there were in fact there were two checks which were found to be signed by the chief uh, by the chief minister himself and it was in the p- possession of pankaj mishra but then he supposed to be a very close aid uh, there have been various findings of the investigation and uh, uh, we all know that has been statements of pankaj mishra as well as prem prakash and various other individuals there have been bahubalis who have been associated there are you know certain bahubalis in jharkhand who have been working with in this business of stone crushing illegal stone crushing and various mining as well so uh, you know these things have come out during investigation and obviously the chief minister uh, uh, who's 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 uh, who's supposed to be very closely associated with these individuals he need to answer yeah. to the the questions of the enforcement directorate sloots now Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed Ashish and Shankar. Believe it at that